time and a little bit more patience, but not to toot my own horn, it's a good one. Once you get it down, it's a stunning look. So I'm taking the shade Penny with a Sigma E35 and you guessed it, I'm gonna blend that into the crease. And now with the shade Brick and a Sigma E25, I'm going to place this a little bit lower into the crease, directly where I want it, and then I'm gonna go back in with E25 and blend it out. So place with this brush, blend with the other. And now with the shade Almond, we are going to start mapping out our cut crease. I'm first taking a E30 pencil brush just to kind of slightly give me the sketch that I want but then I'm going in with a E65 brush and actually carving out exactly what I want. So I'm drawing that initial line and then this is where it gets time consuming because you want to use very small brushes and just take your time. So I'm going back in with that pencil brush and a little bit more product and just very slowly, very, very slowly blending that product out. And then if needed, go back in with the E25, a little bit more of the previous shades and just blend it all out. I tried to show as much as I could without taking up too much time since I'm doing two other looks in this video, but I have several cut crease videos up on my channel that shows every single step in full detail. So now I'm taking the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot just to clean everything up and then I'm taking my new obsession. This is the Cut Crease Brush by Sigma, it's the E62, and this is where everything kind of comes to life. I'm just going to carve out that shape that I did, so it's okay if you get a little bit messy because this is where you can just perfect everything. And if you don't have the MAC Paint Pot, just use a concealer. Just make sure it's not going to crease on your eyelid. So now I'm taking the shade LA and just packing that all over the lid with a MAC 242 brush. I am doing it completely dry this time. I know the first look I sprayed my brush, but this time I am not. This eyeshadow is very pigmented and this brush makes applying the shadow very, very easy. And to blend everything out, I'm taking a Sigma E45 brush and I'm really wanting that color to fade into nothing. So I'm just mostly flicking it out into my bare skin. And then for my lashes, I'm going in with the House of Lashes Noir Fairy. And then for the lower lash line, I'm taking that same Sigma E25 in the shade Penny and running on the lower lash line. And then once I get it buffed on the lower lash line, I'm actually flicking that again to my bare skin almost so it fades into nothing. And then to really darken up the outer corner, I'm taking that E20 brush in the shade Almond and just really focusing it on the outer corner of the lower lash line and then blending everything out. And then just highlight the inner corner with the shade Naked. I applied a brown mascara on the lower lashes and that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed all three looks. Let me know down below which one was your favorite and don't forget to thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.